So back to the Italian job. I really want to find out where this light leak on the Ferrania Falco 2 is coming from. I've checked the bellows, I've had a torch in the bellows and there's, there's, I can't see anything coming out of the bellows at all. I've given it a good look round and there's nothing there. I'm thinking because on the colour photographs, the light leak is on the top right hand side and it's, it's red. So I'm just wondering if it's the back door, the film counter back door, which is red. That's on the bottom right hand side, so maybe it's lights, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing, it's just total guesswork. Uh, but it seems to make sense in my sort of uh, warped state of mind. So what I've done is put some gaffer tape on the back window, then I put a roll of Ilford FP4 Plus into the camera, and we're just going to shoot off eight shots, eight frames, just to try, just to try it basically and see see if the light leak is fixed. Unfortunately, like a Muppet, I put the film in in quite subdued lighting, and as I'm winding on, winding on, winding on, winding on, I wound straight past Muppet. three frames. So uh, from a roll of eight, we're down to five. Muppets. I did think about putting it in a dark bag, re-spooling the film, but I thought this is only a test. I'm not going to go into all that rigmarole just for a test, really. I've just done a little bit of babysitting for the granddaughter, so I thought I'd crack off five frames and see what it's see what it comes out like. So basically, we're going to try and keep this video under five minutes, just for a test. Let's go. <laughs> a beautiful girl. Are you gorgeous? Beautiful. Let's see if we've still got a light leak. Let's hope we've got some exposed film first. Well, we've got some exposed film, that's for sure. So that is one, two, three, the first three frames that I made of balls of. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. We've got six frames. That's all right, that's pretty cool. So realistically, I only lost two frames, even though it said, even though it said that I'd wound on to number three. Let's have a look. I can't actually see any obvious signs of a light leak. They all look pretty well exposed as well. We might have cracked it, guys. We might have cracked it. All right, let's get these dry, get them scanned, and we'll see if we can see a light leak. So far, so good. Well, guys, here we go. Not a light leak in sight. I may not be good at much, but I'll tell you what, I'm good at fixing little easy light leaks. Hey, <laughs> so chuffed to bits with this now. Next frame, next frame, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Again, no light leaks up there at all. Now this one, I was estimating my distances at around about four feet from the subject. On this occasion, completely missed it, completely missed it. Next frame, not so bad. I think this was about three feet away and uh, that ain't too bad. And again, just guesstimation, didn't have a ruler with me, I hope for the best. And I, I think that's pretty damn good actually. Look at that, no light leak. Elephants, flying elephants and tigers and lions and bears, but no light leaks. And sharpness, it's not too bad. I mean, you can read some of the writing on the, on the label there. But look at that, how cool is that? Chuffed to bits. All right, next for it again, sharp as a tack. For film, that's pretty sharp. For guessing a distance as well, so I'm, I'm again, no light leak at all in this corner. <laughs> happy days, happy days. And that was the last frame, guys. Oh, no, it wasn't. That's the last frame. And again, that one, I missed focus. Just shows with these cameras, you've got to get your distances right. Otherwise, your focus is off. Happy as laddie with that one. And that one, oh, beautiful. That one's a winner. Light leak sold. The Frania Falco 2. She's a happy little camper. A lovely, lovely little camera. I'm well happy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, catch you later.